I'm Michael Gillette. I directed the library's oral history program during most of my 20 years on the staff. This case of presidential gifts includes both head of state gifts and presents from the American people. For centuries, kings and presidents have exchanged gifts during official state visits. These symbols of diplomacy and friendship often reflect a country's arts and heritage. American presidents have received everything from Persian rugs to giant pandas. The handsome candelabrum in the lower left of this case was a gift of President uh, Diaz Ordaz of Mexico. President Johnson always had a special regard for our neighbor to the south. When the President of Mexico visited the White House in 1967, he brought his family with him. His adult children became friends of the Johnson daughters, and as Mrs. Johnson wrote in her White House diary, it was more than a state visit with the warmth of two families. On the upper right is a page from the Dr. Seuss book, The Lorax, one of the first children's books to express concern for the environment, a cause that was certainly dear to Mrs. Johnson's heart. President Johnson persuaded the famous author-illustrator, Theodore Geisel, otherwise known as Dr. Seuss, to donate the book's original drawings to the LBJ Library. This second case presents images and artifacts from the LBJ Ranch. Among the photographs is one of the president with his much-loved dog, Yuki. Lucy Johnson found Yuki abandoned at a gas station in Johnson City. He was an animal that compensated for his lack of pedigree with an abundance of personality. LBJ and Yuki would howl in unison as they're doing in this photograph. President Johnson was a great practical joker who loved gadgets. One of his favorite stunts was to give visitors to the ranch a ride in his little blue car. As they approached the Pertinalis River, he would pretend that the brakes had failed and the car would go sailing into the water. Only after it didn't sink did his panicked passengers realize that LBJ's little blue car was amphibious. To the left, we see a page from the President's daily diary kept by his secretaries. This log recorded every meeting and telephone call that LBJ had each day. The diary is a valuable source for historians and it is now accessible on the library's website. Finally, this model of the LBJ Ranch brings back many wonderful memories of visits and events. Most of my 37 oral history interviews with Lady Bird Johnson took place in the yellow sitting room at the ranch. It is the room in front with the large bay window. Transcripts of these oral histories are available on the library's website. Since our interviews were often conducted on weekends, my wife and I would occasionally spend the night in one of the upstairs bedrooms at the ranch. Mrs. Johnson loved to walk, not only for the exercise, but also to enjoy the beauty of the hill country and its wildflowers. We often took walks together after we finished an interview session. On one occasion, my tape recorder was still running when she turned her attention to the subject of an afternoon walk. Now, I'm getting into April, mm -hmm. and I wonder if, uh, if we're going to have a little walk, we had better be about it. The White House Years is just one of many new permanent exhibits that you'll see at the LBJ Library. We look forward to your visit.